What up, 12th man? It's another Nord blog coming at you. I haven't had one of these in a while. Been busy shooting and being in the preseason and everything. But it is uh, about one in the morning. The morning of the first game of the regular season. Tonight is the Packer game. It all starts now. Forget all the preseason stuff. All that's behind us now. And... Uh, I had to get a few things off my chest because, uh, you know, it's it starts. This is it. Just got done watching the uh, America's Game, the um, NFL Network uh, story about the Seahawks' run to the Super Bowl last year, and uh, just kind of took you takes you down the memory lane of recapping how last year went. As we start this year, I think there's good reason to be optimistic that we could be in store for a repeat season. Do you like that, repeat? This is a t-shirt designed by my good friend, uh, Brian Frank, also known as B Frank on Facebook. He designed this cool t-shirt. If you're interested, you can get one at uh, jaeawards.com or JAE Awards on Facebook. Anyway, pretty cool. Pete Carroll, repeat 2015. Um, thinking a lot about this season, you know about what uh, you know with all the changes that have happened this past uh, off season, you know, and all the things that go uh, odds stacked against in the past historically against Super Bowl winning teams winning a second year. You know, history tells us that it's unlikely to happen, but I think uh, it will. But it's going to come down to two key things that are gonna make or break and decide whether we, we repeat or not. I'll get to that in a second at the end. But first, I'm gonna talk about the, uh, the big game tonight. Green Bay Packers. Um, man, this game is gonna be so huge for so many reasons. Let's, uh, got my ticks right here. Me and my buddy Pat will be at the game doing our thing. So, uh, can't wait. It's only a few hours from now. It's exactly 14 hours, 22 minutes from kickoff. But it's going to be an all-day event. Getting down there pretty early. Um, you know, we got the uh, Pharrell Williams and the Soundgarden concert early in the afternoon. Ariana Grande singing the national anthem. And of course, they're going to reveal the championship banner before the game. I mean, all that stuff is just going to be... <laughs> You know, they should measure the sound in the stadium today because it's going to be, I'm sure, uh, record-breaking once again. But uh, once you get through all the fanfare and everything, it's going to come down to the game. And uh, I'm kind of nervous, to be honest with you. Um, not because I'm not confident about uh, our team and what they can do, but it's just what's at stake. You know, I think this is a very good chance that this could be an NFC Championship preview game. And uh, I think uh, being in the NFC West and just the NFC in general, it's going to be tight. It's going to be a tight race to the top and, you know, for the number one seed. Every game is going to count. I think this one's going to be huge to get off to a good start this season. So we need this one. We need this one badly. And uh, Aaron Rodgers is no pushover. Uh, Eddie Lacy is a tough runner. Uh, they got some uh, defenders over there. To, you know, Clay Matthews, and you know, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a tough, tough, tough game. I think it's gonna be close, but um, my prediction is that we are going to win by 10 points. I'm predicting 27-17. None of this hail mary, fail mary crap. You know, it's gonna be straight up close, but we will emerge victorious. And I'm also nervous about this game because uh, if you guys haven't seen my um, latest uh, video series called Rivals, um, I beat up this kid named Trevor, uh, who's a Packers fan. And uh, you can link to the video right here, it's right here. Um, it's called Rivals. And um, basically, Trevor, he's a good kid. He's a local kid here um, from Sammamish. Uh, goes to Skyline High School 
and uh, he's a up and coming filmmaker who we've gotten a chance to know and, and work with. So he's a uh, been a real uh, asset to work with and has a bright future. Uh, but it turns out he's a Packer fan also. Didn't discover that till later on, at least I didn't. Uh, which just made the whole dynamic much more interesting, which is the whole reason why we came up with this idea about doing the Rivals thing. Um, this little battle that we have before the game uh, come into blows, but it also sets up what is going to be a historic Norb Cam for this opening day, opening season game. And basically, Trev, being a filmmaker himself and a Packers fan who will be at the game, he's going to be shooting his perspective of the game while I shoot mine. And in the end, we will, or I will combine both camera angles together and it'll be sort of a dual fan Norb Cam, Trev Cam experience. Obviously, while one fan is gonna be very happy on this side, this person is not gonna be happy. It should be very interesting, but I expect to see a lot of happy shots of myself over here and a lot of not so happy shots of Trev over here. So uh, that's what I'm predicting and hoping will happen. But uh, all the more reason why there's so much at stake for this game. So we'll see how it plays out. It's a few hours away now, so um, can't wait. It's gonna be a crazy day leading up to, to tonight. So, um, but getting back to, um, oh no, actually I wanna talk about the, the game. I, so for those of you guys who are gonna be there, obviously we will be in full volume, uh, screaming as loud as we can, making the noise, 12th man, the nation watching, only game in town tonight. Um, but uh, be smart about your noise if you're gonna be there. Uh, over the preseason, there were too many times when we had people doing Seahawks, Seahawks, while well, the offense was on the field. Come on, you know. Uh, gonna be a fan, be a smart fan at this game, all right? Don't be a detriment, help our team, all right? They're gonna need every help they can, don't mess things up for our own team, all right? So just uh, be smart, all right? 12th man, let's do this right, all right? Otherwise, I think we'll have this thing, you know, this uh, momentum and the, the crowd behind our team. We'll get this thing done. All right. Um, so I said, there's. I think the season's going to come down to two things. Um, but the my my take on what I think in general, how the uh, team, my prediction on how the team's going to uh, do just as a whole is that. I think the offensive unit, which was widely overlooked last year, um, is going to take a big step, maybe two steps forward this year, um, which is going to be uh, a huge boost in the uh, in the passing game. I think we're not while we're not we're still going to be a running game, uh, running team first. I think the passing efficiency is just going to be that much better. We've got more weapons. We got a healthy, a healthy Percy. We've got. Uh, Russell, who's you know now in his third year, smarter than ever. Um, I think uh, that just by itself is already going to step things up. Um, Beast mode doing his thing, um, but I think our defense. I think it might take a tiny little step back. And even though our linebacking core is basically the same, our lob is relatively the same, minus a couple of players. Uh, the defensive line has changed a lot, and as you know, none of these things happen in a bubble the defensive line creates situations that allow the linebackers and the and the defensive backs to function fully and i think our d line just might be taking a, a tiny step back while the offense takes two steps forward i think we're taking a little baby step back you know with the depth that we lost and some of the key players we had last year I hope i'm wrong i'd love all units to take steps forward but um my my to my eye, it, it feels like we just aren't going to be quite as dominant at the line of scrimmage. Um, it feels like we don't have as much of a as strong pass rush, um, not quite as run stuffing as we were last year, where it just seemed like nobody could. We were like a brick wall when we came to try when people tried to run on us. So I'd watch out for that. Um, but. Uh, the two things I said I think are going to be the most important things. I actually re looked this up because it's something that isn't one of those sexy stats that people really talk about. But um, 
I think the two most important categories are they're going to be on offense. I think our defense will be fine, even if it takes a small step back. We were so good last year, a small step back isn't that big of a deal. We'll still hold most opponents to uh, a small enough point advantage that the offense should take care of things. But for the offense to put us over the, the top to really take those two steps forward, I think there's two categories you got to look at. The first one is third down efficiency and then red zone efficiency because those were problem areas for us all the way up to the Super Bowl. Uh, start with third downs. Basically, last year we were 17th in third down uh, efficiency at 37.3%. By comparison, Denver, who we played in the Super Bowl, was number two at 46.3%. All right, um, third downs are gonna be huge. Keep the, you know, keeps, uh, keeps the offense on the, on the field, keeps the defense off, wears out the other team. And, uh, you know, I think that's going to be the first part of us uh, taking that huge step forward. And I think they will. Percy just being on there. Uh, I love how during the, you know, the preseason uh, we were spreading things out and having these uh, uh, open lanes and, op and options with Percy on the outside, keeping, keeping defenses in check, having to kind of keep the middle open to cover these guys on the outside, I think opens up a lot for third down. So I, I feel optimistic about that. That's number one. Number two is uh, the red zone efficiency. Last year, we were uh, 14th at 53.23%. By comparison, uh, Denver was number one at 72.73%. Uh, that was a huge thing. When you think back about certain games uh, that we did lose, um, ones that come to mind is Arizona. Um, well, I think that Arizona game was key to us sharpening our blade and keeping us focused throughout the entire Super Bowl run. It was really inexcusable to lose that game in the sense that our defense picked off Carson Palmer four times, and yet we still lost that game because we couldn't you know, we were bad on third down and we were bad in the red zone. We, we had an interception, uh, well, I think it was Malcolm Smith, had an interception that we took down to like the three yard line or something and right before the half and got no points out of it. Cause that was again, one of those uh, red zone, you know, failure to convert points. We missed a field goal, couldn't get in the end zone and then he missed a field goal, went to the half, you know, with no points. I mean, that kind of stuff is just, we're not gonna be able to, can have that margins too narrow for that so we've got to move that up as well red zone efficiency has got to be better uh even the super bowl when we jumped out to that 15 to nothing lead uh it, we should have been up like 20 21 or 24 points by that point but we were only by you know eight for a while and then 15 and yet we were dominating at that point but that's because we couldn't convert in the red zone so um that i think is going to be the big yeah, the, probably the biggest one uh, that uh, we need to improve on in order for this year to be the year that we take it to a, a repeat season. So I am going to be looking for that all year long, uh, more than anything else, is our third down efficiency and red zone efficiency. And the uh, preseason, granted this preseason doesn't mean a lot, but we look dang good in both categories. So I'm hoping that that's a, a sign of things of how it's going to look this year. So, we have a lot of room for improvement based on those stats. I mean, that's very, the numbers we had there are very, very mediocre, very middle to slightly below average, really, um, in those categories. So, uh, they step that up, I think we're going to be looking dang good. You know what I mean? Anyway, I guess that's it. I just wanted to kind of get that out there. It's a, it's quiet. Most of y'all is asleep right now, or oh, as I'm recording this. But uh, yeah, get hyped, man. This is the start right here. The chance for us to build what could be a dynasty in Seattle, a repeat, rarely seen repeat season in the NFL these days. We have to overcome it in the face of free agency and um, referees who are going to be not on our side when it comes to uh, to the defense and the LOB. Uh, it's just going to be a lot of things stacked against us to, to making the road to the repeat tough.
but I think we can do it. All right, I will beat the game screaming, shooting, video, doing everything I can to will this team to victory. So I hope you guys do too. Even if you're not in the stadium, make noise. We'll feel it all the way inside CenturyLink. Let's take this. Let's take care of the game number one, one game at a time. Let's destroy the Packers and uh, start the run now. 1-0 every week starts right now. It starts tonight. Let's do it. Go Hawks. We are the 12th man. Seahawks, we got your back. Yeah, Seahawks, we got that swag. Yeah, defense, go get that sack.